Today I want to talk to you about three tools that you can use in the PDF toolbar to write on top of a worksheet that you receive from your teacher during our distance learning. Uh, as you can see, I've opened up a worksheet in the PDF reader, and there are three tools I want to talk about. I want to talk about the typewriter tool, the freehand drawing tool, and the shapes tool. We'll start with the typewriter tool. If I wanted to add a response to this chart, I'm going to turn on the typewriter. I'm going to click on the line where I want to start writing. And at that point, you see a text box pop up. Now I can grab these three dots down here at the end. If I roll over them, I can pull those dots. So they're the same length as the line I can type on. And then I can start typing. I can use a variety of tools like prediction or voice typing. I can make my font larger or smaller and I can change the color. So here's how it works. If I want to use voice typing, I have to say my whole sentence then pause and that sentence will show up. Watch this. Voice typing works a little differently in a PDF than it does on Google Docs, period. So you can see my sentence showed up after I stopped talking. But you see this is too big for that space. So what I'm gonna use now is the decrease font size. And there, it looks like it almost fits perfectly. If I want to move it, I'm going to grab it down here at the left, and I can move it so it perfectly fits that line. When everything's good, I can hit the check mark. Now, my typewriter tool is still on, so I can move down to the next line and start the same process over. But I want to show you how to either delete or move on to um, the other tools. I wanted to delete this whole sentence, I just click on it again and use the trash can. I'm going to turn the typewriter off and move on to the freehand drawing and shapes. Freehand drawing is super cool. When you turn it on, you're able to pick your line color and your line thickness, really thick or really thin. And then you're able to freehand draw on an object. If I want to erase, I can turn the erase on and erase that shape and then draw again. I can turn the tool off and now I want to show you shapes. If I turn the shapes on, I get the same option. I can pick a line color, the outside of the shape and a fill color, the inside of the shape. Right now it's set to transparent. I can pick a line thickness and then choose a, a rectangle, a circle, or a straight line. This is great for matching. I will show you how each works. So I'm gonna drag in and size my shape. I'm gonna change my shape to a circle. And then I will show you a line. So I can make that line face any direction I want. And then if I want to erase, I can do just that. If I turn my tool off and want to move these shapes to a different place, I can click on the shape and grab that area right here to the left and I can move that to where I want it. I can't change the angle of the line, but I can move it. And if I don't want that line, I can throw it away. That's how you use the typewriter, the freehand drawing, and the shapes. PDF with Read and Write for Google.